Hello. I hope everyone is having a good Thursday. This is the Les Vampires by Lucy Cavendish, and the artwork is done by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Uh, the guidebook looks look, is completely black and white. There are different readings you could do. And there's the cards. But we'll look we'll look over those cards, of course. That's one of them actually. There's the there's the front of it. But you'll find out what that card is. It is in the deck. This is what the back of the card looks like. And these are what reversals look like when you're shuffling. So yes, th these do have reversals, but they are known as blessings and curses in this deck. I did look that up to make sure that they had reverses. But yes, they do have reverses. It is an oracle deck. It's not a tarot deck. Okay, let's start. I'll tell you a story that this deck and two other decks that I will be sharing, one on Friday and one on Monday, I had a personal transformation and I don't think it's done with me just yet because I just drew two rebirth cards in one sitting. So I think it's still going on and for those of you who recognize my voice you should know who I am for those of you who do not it's fine I will get to that eventually Isn't that the truth? Past is a prison. The artwork is beautiful on this deck and all of her decks. There it is. That's the cover. Seduction, allure, desire, and manipulation.
And this is the last card. Okay. And that is all for the reveal for Less Vampires. Um, I went through a dark time that lasted for about a few years, actually more than a few years, a lot of years. Um, and I was go looking and seeing things from the dark, which this deck I consider to be the dark, where you're dealing with the night, of, um, dark night of the soul or um, your shadow self. Um, and to me, this deck was like therapy, like going to a therapist. It opened up a huge door. Uh, the other deck, actually, I'll get it. I'll show you a preview of the cover. Not the, not our card reveal, but a reveal of the color. This deck is the Shapeshifters deck. And it triggered seeing people, like, like transformation, somewhat. Like I was starting to see things differently, but I wasn't quite ready. There was something I wasn't facing. And even in the cards, they'd say, there's something that you're not facing, that you're not seeing. You're blind to it. And um, when I got this deck, it opened my eyes to basically I saw what that blindness was. And I know I'm being vague, <laughs> but there's no need for more pain to come out of this, both from my part and the people involved. That's all I got to say. So I'm not going to explain the situation for those who know. I will talk to you in a private message for those who don't just know that um, I wasn't coming from a place of darkness, I mean, of, or light. And as much as I thought it was, there was a blind spot that was full of darkness and that had to be revealed so I can could transform it. And this deck is was helpful in helping me balance the light and the dark for the shadow and light. And now I speak from a pace of balance instead of just from the light or just from the dark. I speak from a pace of balance of light and dark, also known as the gray area. And that is where I'm going to leave it today. Have a good evening, a good east. Um, there, there will be something on Friday. There'll be the shapeshifters deck for Friday, but I take the weekend off. Um, so you guys have a good Easter weekend for anybody who celebrates it. And blessed be.